Ready, Medea? All right, let's get with it. So here we have a vector. It's on a coordinate plane. And the first thing I want us to do is find the component form. So I'll write out the component form one more time just to make sure you guys remember it, and then we'll go through it. So remember, if I had a, a directed line set up PQ, component form is going to be the change in Q1 minus P1, comma, the change in Q2 minus P2. All right? So obviously, remember, P was our initial point, and Q was our terminal point. Well, what we have here is you know, we have pretty much, it's like the change in our x's and our change in our y's. So I'm going to look at, um, so if here would be my P, and here's my Q, right? where this is P1, P2, Q1, Q2. So I'll even write that in there, just so you guys can remember. So. Now to find my component form of my vector, I'm just going to do q1, which is negative 1, minus p1, which is 2, comma, q2, which is 4, minus p2, which is 2. Therefore, we're going to have negative 1. Did they give this a name? Yes, they did call it v. OK, so we have vector v. So we have negative 1 minus 2, which is negative 3. 4 minus 2 is 2. So we say component form of your vector, which we're going to call v. I was just using the p over q to represent their initial and terminal point. So therefore, I go over negative 3, 1, 2, 3, up 2. Remember, we always have our initial point here. Go from there. OK? So now I've kind of standardized this by you putting it into component form. Now the next thing is it says to find the magnitude. So now I need to find the value or the distance of this directional line segment. So remember the magnitude of PQ is the square root of Q1 minus P1 squared plus Q2 minus P2 squared. But remember what I was talking about. Oh, it's PQ. Remember what I was talking about, ladies and gentlemen. We already know that these are going to equal v1 and v2, right, by going back to our component form. So this is really the same thing as v1 squared plus v2 squared. And we know what v1 is, and we know what v2 is. So we don't have to go back through this whole work again to be able to find it. When, once we already know what, what it is in component form, we can quickly find the magnitude, right? Which we could also just say, rather than doing p over q, we can just say the magnitude of v. Well, now that's going to be the square root of negative 3 squared plus 2 squared. So I could say that the magnitude of v is going to equal the square root of 13. PQ is the same thing. V is just the name of my component form of my vector. Okay? PQ is just the direction, it's just the name of the directional line segment from your initial point to your terminal point. So I'm using PQ to kind of go for your standard formulas, just so you guys can get an idea of it. But we're all going to be start just converting it back over to V because now V, once it's in our component form, we don't really see PQ is when you have any two points, right? When it's not in component form, you're going from one point to the next, right? point to the next. But when you put it in component form, we, are, we always know what p is. p is always going to be 0, 0, right? So we don't need to keep on saying p to q. We can just use the name v, right? Which v is going to be your vector in component form. So I start off with p over q just to kind of go back to our original definitions that we used. But then I'm going to start, but then I go with our v as v is going to be our, you know, the name of our vector in component form. OK, so for pretty much from here on out, I'm going to be using the name of the vector. I just wanted to, again, throw back out the formulas for you guys so you guys can go back and remember, oh, where, you know, where are you getting those? Well, remember, this is, our, this is the magnitude of a vector, even not in component form. But now we have it in component form. So it's in component form. It's just v1 and v2. Make a little bit of sense? OK. 
So the magnitude is square root of 13, right? Good. Okay, that's it. So for your, your tarea, um, in questions one through five.